Hi guys, it's the walk in zero zero dead here. So today I'm doing my Valentine's Day special video of my top five favourite female anime characters, and I'm going to do a little bit of backstory on them and you know why I like them. So enjoy, guys. Number five, Riel from Ergo Proxy. Riel is an investigator for the intelligence bureau for the city of Rondo, which is this dome city in this like wasted, you know, post-apocalyptic like wasteland. Riel comes across rather stern and disciplined, and quite cold at times and she has a massive like superiority complex towards others. Riel as an investigator shows no regards to the rules and regulations and has no problem like bending the rules. She's also like well trained in combat and uh, she's like a master with basically like the pump action combat shotgun and she expects you know respect from the citizens of Rondo as she's you know of a higher status in the city also like her grandfather is like one of like the founders of the city as well. For me, Riel came across as being quite cold and quite bitchy, but at the same time, she's like a total badass, and you know, that's why I liked her. Number 4. Birdie Seafons from Birdie the Mighty Decode. Birdie is an Intergalactic Space Federation police officer who tracks down and arrests alien criminals and alien like, terrorists on the run and brings them into justice. Birdie is a Luxurion, which is a bioengineered super soldier bred for combat by the Federation. This means that Birdie is super agile and really, really fast and ridiculously strong. She's got like a thirst for violence. Birdie's given a nickname Birdie the Berserker Killer because in her past, where she's actually got like a really cool like backstory as well and quite tragic. In her past, like there's this terrorist attack on the Federation like headquarters and there's this giant robot called a Berserker and uh, all the Federation like officers are basically getting wiped out and killed by this thing. And when it comes up against Birdie, she just basically goes into a blind fit of rage and starts destroying this massive robot that no one else can take down. Birdie, you know, she's very impulsive and jumps into situations without thinking. Birdie at times is like really careless and often lets her rage cloud her better judgment, which is how the whole, you know, Birdie the Mighty Decode series starts off with Birdie accidentally killing, you know, Senkawa and then getting like his body, his mind, sorry, like merged into her body. But I won't go into anything on the series, you know, go check it out, it's an amazing series. For me, Birdie is a super strong, like, hothead who is always full of energy. And she's a really fun character. And uh, what makes her interesting is she's got, like, a really tragic past as well. So, that's why I like Birdie. Number three. Lust, from Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Lust is a homunculus, a powerful being created by the lustful emotions from the souls that are inside her philosopher's stone that power her. Lust is very, very intelligent and plays the role of a puppet master. Lust is a master manipulator and a ruthless, sadistic killer. She has, you know, the nickname the ultimate spear because her fingertips can extend into thin blades that can cut any substance known to man, basically. Lust is a shapely, like, seductive, dangerous woman. And um, in the original Fallout of Alchemist series, you know, when her desire to become human, you know, comes out and you see more of a backstory, you sympathise with her a great deal. And that's, you know, that's the lust that I really like. I prefer the original Full Metal Alchemist lust because she plays much more, she plays a bigger role, basically. And you get more invested in her character. And that's why she's at number three. Number two. Revy from Black Lagoon. Revy is a crew member of the Black Lagoon and works as a mercenary and basically as a pirate off the coast of, like, uh, Thailand. And she also, like, has ties with, like, the Russian, like, mafia. Revy is a chain-smoking, heavy-drinking, foul-mouthed, ill-tempered woman who's also got like a tragic like past. She you know, takes like a maniacal glee in killing her enemies and she's merciless and sadistic because of like her scarred past basically. Due to her use of dual modified Breta pistols and her superhuman marksmanship skills, she's been given the nickname Two Hands. Revy's an absolute beast when it comes to basically like combat. In my opinion, Revy is like a tribute to the old school 80s action heroes, you know, and that's why I really like the character of Revy. Number one, Faye Valentine from Cowboy Bebop. Faye is a member of the bounty hunting crew aboard the spaceship, the Bebop. Faye spent 54 years in a coma under cryogenic sleep after being injured in a space shuttle accident about roughly the age of 20. Faye is a woman like with a real attitude, you know, she comes across as like really selfish sometimes and really bitchy. And she thinks of herself a lot. But that's what I really like about a character. It really makes a character. 
she is very confident, maintains a tough exterior because of the people she associates with. You know, she she associates with some of the real scum of like the galaxy and like criminals. And sometimes, you know, there's not a great deal of difference between the criminals and the bounty hunters. She also herself used to be a scam artist nicknamed Poker Alice and the Queen of Hearts. And she used to go around like ripping off like space casinos. But, you know, sometimes when phase off like bounty heads herself, she acts like really cocky and overconfident. And that's usually like a real downfall because she sometimes gets over her head and can't handle the situation. Sometimes like Spike or Jet will have to come in and help her. There are rare times in Cowboy Bebop the series when Faye is like soft spoken and sentimental and she's actually nice. But I prefer it when she's, you know, the really cocky, bitchy Faye. Faye believes she's been dealt like an unfair hand by the world. It is now, a, you know, like a street smart and tough young woman. Hope you enjoyed my top five female anime characters, guys. Um, in the link below, I'm going to drop my top 15 favourite female anime characters, which is on my opposite channel. But this is basically going to be like a little, sh uh, like a countdown slideshow with like music. So drop me a comment down below. Who are some of your favourite, you know, female anime characters? You know, give me like your 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 if you like. If you've just found my stuff and you like it, you know, please subscribe and go check out some of my anime reviews and anime unboxings. And uh, give me a thumbs up for one of your favourite, you know, female anime characters. And thanks for watching. See you next time.